Hello, and welcome to the tutorial series for Cisco TIBCO Data Virtualization, or TDV. In this tutorial, we discuss XSLT and streaming transformations. Note that tutorials are not meant to be comprehensive training modules. Instead, they demonstrate a very basic use case that can be built quickly and easily. However, the data virtualization knowledge base contains additional information that will help you learn more and go deeper. Additional resources in the knowledge base include resources used to build the tutorial, such as data virtualization archive files, data source files, and a document version of this tutorial. Additional information, including documentation and training materials. Here is our agenda. We begin by defining XSLT and streaming transformations and outlining their importance in data virtualization projects. Next, we demonstrate the basics of these transformations. Finally, we summarize the contents of this tutorial. Let's begin by discussing what XSLT and streaming transformations are and why they are important for data virtualization. XSLT stands for Extensible Stylesheet Language Transformations. It is an industry standard language that is used for transforming XML data structures into different formats, including other XML structures, HTML, plain text, and so on. For data virtualization, the most common use case for XSLT is flattening XML documents so that they can easily be joined with data from databases and flat files. TDV Studio includes an XSLT transformation editor that provides graphical tools for defining XSLT transformations. TDV Studio also includes a streaming transformation editor. Its interface is identical to the XSLT editor, but it adds the capability of working with very large data sets that cannot be completely held in memory. Because its functionality is identical to the XSLT editor, some developers use the streaming transformation editor for all use cases. However, the XSLT editor allows the user to edit the raw XSLT statements, while the streaming editor does not. XSLT and streaming transformations are important for data virtualization because flat relational data structures provide a common format for federation of data that comes from multiple physical data sources. In order for XML data structures to be used in data virtualization projects, they must be flattened into this common format so that they can be joined with data from databases, flat files, and other sources. Next, let's walk through a very basic demo of XSLT and streaming transformations. Here is the business problem that we illustrate in this demo. We have an XML document that contains descriptions of products we need to flatten this document into a relational structure so that it can be joined with data from an inventory database in order to produce a federated virtual view. We'll use the XSLT and streaming transformation editors to accomplish this. Let's create an XSLT transformation to flatten the XML product description document. In Studio, make a folder to hold your work. Right-click the folder and select New Transformation. Studio supports several different kinds of transformation editors. Select XSLT Transformation and click Next. Give the transformation a name. Now navigate to the Examples folder that is part of the standard Studio installation. Expand the DSXML data source and select the Product Catalog.XML resource. Click Finish. The XSLT editor appears. Expand the source and examine its structure. Notice that wrapper tags appear with folder icons, while leaf-level data tags appear with icons indicating their data types. Since we are flattening this hierarchical structure, we don't want the wrapper tags. Select only the data items using Control-click and or Shift-click. On the toolbar, click the Create Link and Target icon. The flat output structure is created. Execute the transformation to verify that a flat relational structure is returned. Notice that category ID and category name fields, which were at a higher level in the original hierarchy, are repeated for each leaf level row in the new flat structure. 
Now, let's use the transformation in a virtual view. Create a new view and drag the transformation onto the model canvas of the view. Because a transformation is a type of procedure, you will see this parameter panel appear when you drag in the transformation. It is blank because this transformation does not have any input parameters. Simply click OK. Now open the Examples folder, expand the DS Inventory data source, and drag in the Inventory Transactions table. Join the two resources on the Product ID column, fill out the projection in the grid panel, and execute the view. We have successfully created a join between an XML document and a database. In the previous example, we showed a quick and easy way to flatten an entire XML structure. Now, let's look at some additional features of the XSLT Transformation Editor that will help us customize the transformation. Create a new transformation, name it, and once again select the productcatalog.xml document from the Examples folder. Now select only the Category ID field and click Create Link and Target. Our output structure contains only the selected column. In the Output Target, right-click the new column and select Rename. You can change the output column name to anything you like. We can also build a transformation by defining the output first. Click in the output area, then on the toolbar click Add, select a decimal data type, and an output column is created, which you can rename. Here we call it Prod ID. Next, out of Archar and name it Prod Desk. Now that we have created two new output columns, return to the source side of the editor and select the Product ID field. Click the Create Link icon. A link is created from the input Product ID to the first available output, which is Prod ID. I can also use drag and drop to create a link. Oops, I picked the wrong input field. I select Delete Link, Confirm, and the link is removed. If I want to change the order of the output columns, I can use the up and down arrows. Finally, if I want to perform some highly custom transformation steps, I can edit the actual XSLT statements. This capability is beyond the scope of this tutorial. We have examined XSLT transformations. Now, let's look at streaming transformations. This is an appropriate choice when an XML data source is too large to be completely held in memory. As you can see, the editor interface for the streaming transformation editor is identical to the XSLT editor, except that the XSLT tab is not present. You can use the data map tab just as we did before to flatten the document. We have seen how to flatten XML documents using both the XSLT Transformation Editor and the Streaming Transformation Editor. Our demo is complete. Let's summarize what we have seen in this tutorial. XSLT stands for Extensible Style Sheet Language Transformations. It is an industry standard language that is used for transforming XML data structures into different formats including other XML structures, HTML, plain text, and so on. For data virtualization, the most common use case for XSLT is flattening XML documents so that they can easily be joined with data from databases and flat files. TDV Studio includes an XSLT transformation editor that provides graphical tools for defining XSLT transformations. TDV Studio also includes a streaming transformation editor its interface is identical to the XSLT editor, but it adds the capability of working with very large data sets that cannot be completely held in memory. Because its functionality is identical to the XSLT editor, some developers use the Streaming Transformation Editor for all use cases. However, the XSLT editor allows the user to edit the raw XSLT statements, while the Streaming Editor does not. 
XSLT and streaming transformations are important for data virtualization because flat relational data structures provide a common format for federation of data that comes from multiple physical data sources. In order for XML data structures to be used in data virtualization projects, they must be flattened into this common format so that they can be joined with data from databases, flat files, and other sources. As you work with transformations in TDV, keep these key takeaways in mind. The XSLT transformation editor is a good choice when your entire input XML structure fits into memory. This editor gives you the option of hand editing raw XSLT if you wish. The streaming transformation editor does not require the entire XML data structure to be held in memory. However, it does not allow hand editing of raw XSLT. After completing this tutorial, you are ready to expand the types of data sources you can use in TDV. Use your learning from this tutorial to transform XML data into flat relational structures that are ready to be joined with data from other sources. Leverage your knowledge to create more complex XSLT-based transformations. Use other tutorials to learn about additional transformation editors that are included in TDV Studio. Thank you.